Hey guys, I did myself here and we're literally nine days away from the official announcement of the iPhone 8 and most likely the release of iOS 11. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some additional features and software enhancements that could be coming to this device. So let's begin. Now I want to share with you guys a simulation of what the floating dock could look like. Once again, developer Rambo has discovered uh, some additional features that I'm going to talk about in this video, but look how cool a floating dock would be on the iPhone in order to multitask. It would be great. You can sway from the bottom, bring the dock, the most recent apps, your favorite apps, and then just switch through the operating system. Keep in mind, we won't have a home button, so this could be very, very useful. Now it is not at all certain that what Apple is going to go with in terms of multitasking with the iPhone 8 but this is another simulation of the iPad uh, app switcher running on the iPhone swiping from the bottom again the dock right there with the most recent apps and the favorite apps and you can see here the app switcher just like we see on iPad Pro running iOS 11 however you don't see a control center with this simulation but you can see that the app switcher is another alternative here now I want to go ahead and move the spotlight over to Siri and the power button on the new iPhone 8 and what's rumored to come for this device some of the code within the software hint at Siri being invoked using the power button. Now, you may remember that we saw some of the leaked schematics for the iPhone 8 showing off a longer than usual power button. Now, of course, given the fact that no home button is going to be present to a press and hold to invoke Siri. So if we have a longer power button, we can reach it easier. Now, a long press would take over the long press of a home button to invoke Siri. But where does the slide to power off go? So this doesn't make any sense, right? Well, Apple did put a software button for the slide to power off now that we look at it right here to shut down so this could be what apple is doing with siri the string of code within ios suggesting that this is going to be the case i think we will see the power button function as siri and the shutdown options would be within the software as we see it already within ios 11. let me know your thoughts do you think Apple should definitely go with the power button, a long press for the power button to invoke Siri on the next generation iPhone. Will you get used to this? And what do you think about all these gestures on iOS taking over the functions of the home button? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.